brand new all to new Hawaiian Shores pack of 12 water-based markers and I did this um, I colored a sheet from their watercolor exotic blooms coloring pad here and they worked really well on this paper this is, seems to be kind of like it what it, this paper reminds me of is the Fabriano cold press um, paper so if you like that paper you probably like this coloring book but everything blended out really well in this paper and I also swatched out these colors on just a Strathmore postcard that I had in my scrap um, in my scrap bin and they all the colors most of the colors uh, faded out really well um, I did get a little bit of staining where I colored with the marker on the green and on the black but um, everything else faded out pretty well and yeah let's take a look at them so what you get for about $10.99, I think is their retail price, are 12 markers. And if these look familiar, well, they should probably, because you've probably seen them from other companies. This is a pretty popular marker style uh, that you will find from Ohuhu and a bunch of other um, kind of private label companies on Amazon. So I just wanted to mention that you might already have something very similar in your stash. Of course, the big reason to go with the Alta New ones, if it's important to you, would be to get their color names to match. Um, I know these markers are available in like 160 colors or something, so I'm reasonably sure they could have chosen, you know, really good matches for their inks. I don't have their ink pad collection, to be honest. Um, I don't go for a lot of the custom ink collections because I have a really good selection of dye-based inks, and they're all pretty much the same. In fact, most of the dye-based inks that come out of companies are all coming out of the same factory or just between a handful of factories. So, um, so I just, you know, I have a great selection of inks, and I don't add to it, so I can't really give an opinion on, you know, current ink pads except for everything I've tried that's new has been pretty much identical. Um, but for the markers you get a brush tip end which is a felt tip nib and you get a fine tip end which is a like a hard um, I think it's a plastic nib it's like a fine liner so if you wanted to if you did like um, marker art you could actually draw with these fine liners and it should not bleed your alcohol ink so let me just um, Oh, well, let me just draw a leaf here and then we'll let that dry and then we'll color it with um, some alcohol markers just to make sure that is the case. These will bleed with um, with water, obviously. This is, I'm not sure exactly what this, I think this is hot press um, Fabriano watercolor paper. It doesn't, this is not a really heavily sized paper, so I don't get a ton of bleeding. That's Ohuhu, um, which also makes a very similar marker, which we'll compare in a second. And that's the Altenew one, so very, very similar, like, bleed, bleedability, I would guess. This just isn't the best paper for it. Um, one thing I like is that the caps post. I can, I can stick the brush tip end on the fine tip end if I need to, and I think I can put the fine tip end on the brush tip end. Now, I do have a little experience with the... Um, Gosh, I may have to turn it around. The little one doesn't peg as well as the big end. So while you can put the little end on the big end, it does not peg quite as well, and it might fall out, but it might, you know, if you're gonna keep your pens upright, it's probably fine, but it doesn't snap in tightly, but the big end will peg on the little end. So just thought I would give you that information. You wanna be careful when you put the caps on that you um, you don't get the nib off to the edge. You wanna put it on straight because there is like a little collar in there. I think it's so that you don't, the anti-choking feature in there. So you do gotta line it up really good. And these are kind of tough to snap the, the caps on on the fine tip end. I don't find it too difficult on the brush tip end, but the, the fine tip ends, do require some good pushing, like probably maybe even pressure on your table. So if you have any strength issues, that might be a little bit of an issue to get it uncapped and capped again. So keep that in mind if that's important to you. Um, these blend pretty well, but they're not gonna blend out quite as much as say a, um, well I can show you on the back here, say a real brush pen, but they're not bad. So if I go in with like say, I'm gonna do some green. And then I want to take some yellow and blend it out. I can do that. But it's not going to be as good as like a real brush pen. I definitely would want to take a wet brush and coax the colors together. But with a wet brush, you can see they blend really, really well. This is the back side of the, uh, 
that little watercolor card. Since it is a water-based ink, it shouldn't bleed through, which is nice if you're working in a sketchbook. Um, and overall, yeah, I mean, I think they're they're fairly fairly well priced. They're not, you know, for 12 markers, 10 bucks, less than a dollar a marker. Yes, if you want to buy a bigger set, you will save a lot of money from other companies, but it just depends if you want that Altony brand name or not. For instance, I just compared with my Ohuhu markers here. I'm just going to zoom out because this is a big case. So this is like $35 and it's 100, 100 markers and as you can see let's compare let's try find let's try to find a color that's very similar let's try this purple here um probably closest uh, probably closest to this one right here actually so let's look at these side by side we can see we got printing on the marker. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. I think it'll be a little easier if we do that. So like on the Ohuhu one, we've got the printing here with the indication of the fine and the brush. Same thing with the Altenu. The Altenu has a little bit of a scrape on the printing there. Flip it over. This one says Hawaiian Shores, ultraviolet. That's a color and there's nothing on the back side of the Ohuhu marker. I've had this kit for um, probably a couple of years, so they may have added names on there since then, but I don't know I have any uh, newer ones. To be honest, these aren't my favorite brush pens because I like them at, I liked them at first, but I did find that um, the brush nibs did start to fray a little sooner than say a Tombow or other um, brands of brush tip, felt tip pens. So that's just another thing to, to think about. So let's grab this paper again and let's swatch these. Well, I'm gonna swatch and blend and swatch and blend. So let's do the Altenu first because I don't wanna let the ink sit on the paper any like longer for one than the other because that would be really fair. Purple's kind of a hard color too, so that's the Altenu one. We'll do the Ohuhu one. Did I pick the same colors? I'm not sure. This one seems a little bit pinker and it's blending a little bit better, but I might not have had the exact same color match. But um, very similar as, whoops, oh my goodness. Very similar as to how it blended out You know, about the same thing, different different colors. So maybe they did get some custom inks on their pens. I could see if I could have another purple. Maybe this one right here. I'll try this one. This is all. This is a oh hoo hoo. Oh, that one might be a little bit closer. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit cooler. But you know, pretty much the same, the same idea as far as blending. Let's do a green and a yellow like we did, uh, like we did there. We can compare them apples to apples or a little bit closer. Let's see, I think I used, did I use that green? That's about, oh, let me hold it up. Let me find it, let me find one. Let me zoom out a little bit. Ooh. Well, let's see. Well, maybe they did find some unique colors. Let's, this one's pretty close, I think. And then let's find a yellow that's close. Mm, I'd say this one. Okay, so these are the Ohuhus. They're probably not going to be exact, but they should be pretty close. Identical build, though. What did we do first? We did the dark green first. This is a little bit more acidy green, but... And then we'll coax them together with some water, like we did with the Ohuhu. I mean, with the Altenu. Oh my gosh. Pretty similar. I didn't have the exact same colors. That one did blend up to a really nice blend, though I have to say, maybe they have a little more glycerin in their formula, but I don't think there's a huge, a huge difference other than, you know, bespoke colors potentially for the Altenu brand. But I think, you know, if you've been curious about a style of marker like this, maybe you wanted to get something similar to Tombow but save some money. Um, yeah, that definitely would do it. This is like a dual brush marker, kind of like Tombow. The nibs aren't quite as resilient and it's got a fine liner nib instead of a, um, instead of a bullet nib, which is handy if you like to do journaling. So, I mean, it just kind of comes down to what you want in a marker. These are way cheaper than Tombos that run around three something a piece. Now, I want to grab some alcohol markers and just see how they blend. I might as well grab some alternate ones because I have some right here. I do love their alcohol markers. I will say that. 
And I don't know how they're going to work on this particular paper, but I just mostly want to see if the uh, my fine liner lines feather with them. And I don't think they are. I think they're. I think they're. I think they're fine. The fine liner is fine. I'll zoom in because I think it will focus a little bit easier if I zoom in. So yeah, I didn't have any issues with the fine liner bleeding under the alcohol pen, so I think that's good. It's like another way you can use these markers. Um, I would say give them a try. They're not too expensive. If you are curious of this type of marker, they're definitely cheaper than Tombow. If you want to have a little set to maybe go in your travel bag, not as good quality as Tombow, but um, they're a fraction of the price. Now, if you wanted a larger selection of colors, um, I believe this set of 10 is all that's available. I'm going to take a quick peek. Um, currently right now, maybe they're going to roll out more color schemes if these do well, but currently right now we just see a set of 12, rather 12, a uh, Hawaiian Shores pack on the Altenew site, so maybe they'll release more collections if these get popular, but uh, if you just want to try sampling, see if you see if you like it before investing in a larger pack, maybe from Ohuhu or another brand on Amazon, it definitely, um, they're, they definitely get the job done and, you know, something inexpensive to throw in your travel bag, you don't have to worry about losing. Would be um, would be nice, and this is the color selection that you get for these. So, um, so yeah, I think for the price, they're decent and nice arrangement of colors. You can mix on a palette. That's another thing I want to show you. You can, um, if you don't have just the right color, you can um, like if you want a cooler purple, you can mix on a palette like this. Any dish or acrylic stamping block, even. You can watercolor this way on your stamped images. You can pick it up and just, you know, bring it over to your project. That's a great way to be able to watercolor and not have to bring watercolor paints with you and not get streaky lines if you're trying to, like, maybe work on cardstock and you, you know, you don't want to have those streaky lines underneath where you're trying to, when you're trying to color. So it gives you a little more versatility for the product and all it takes is a brush and a, you know, a, something non-porous that you can blend onto. So that's really all I have to say about these. I've reviewed similar products in the past. So, you know, you can go back to my review of the Ohuhu um, and also technique video on the Ohuhu dual tip uh, water-based pens. I'll try to think to link that down below uh, to give you some more ideas. But, um, but yeah, there you go. New offering from all to new and hopefully you found this helpful. Just, uh, I, would, I would just be aware if you have strength issues, removing the caps and putting the caps back on from the tiny end it might be a challenge. But other than that, I think they're decent. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.